First of all, comment below. I want you to let me know what is the best way that you use right now to be able to stay mentally focused? What are some insights or questions that you have? Um, first thing I want you to do is comment below and let me know. Um, let's go into the video. Your best advice to stay mentally focused as a business owner? So the first thing that I would think to stay mentally focused Really a big part of my life for me is meditation. I think that if you take a few minutes out of your day to just sit down, you just close your eyes and you just meditate, focus on your breathing. Uh, there's a video that we can link in the comments below where it's just literally a two to three minute video. There's also apps like Headspace, um, meditation apps you can download for free and you can just play music and then it lets you relax. I think that helps you stay mentally focused. Um, you, here's the thing, like in, in your, as a business owner, I understand you are multitasking, you've got bombarded with messages, you're in meetings, you're doing team trainings, you have to strategize for your business, you have to do sales, you have to do marketing, you have to do 99 different things. And the way that you actually consolidate this to stay mentally focused is you have to be able to in the trench of it when you're doing it. Meditation, this is the first thing you stay there, you do it. Even throughout the day when I'm in meetings and whatnot, when I have a little bit of a a gap, let's say five to 10 minutes. I'm in my office, I'm just, I'm just literally sitting there. I don't put my hands up like this, but I just sit there like this and close my eyes and then I just focus on, I just start meditating for a little bit. And it, nothing fancy, I don't use an app or anything, I just focus on my breath. And I've done like intensive meditation retreats because I've gotten to that point. But for you, you can just be able to close your eyes, focus on your, your breathing and then just be able to do meditation. Now, if you were thinking you're watching this video like Benson, I'm not gonna meditate then I want you to focus on actually having the set, very clear, defined goals, outcomes every single day that you wanna achieve. What are the top three outcomes that you wanna have every single day? The second thing is you wanna eliminate distractions. So whenever you're working on a specific part in your business, whether that's marketing, whether that's sales, whether that's whatever it is, meetings with the team, you wanna time block that hour and the only thing that you focus on is just that. Staying mentally focused means that you do not multitask. Multitasking is the most worst enemy of productivity. So you wanna stay focused on just that one thing. You also wanna, so time blocking is one thing. The second thing is what is the top three outcomes you wanna achieve throughout the day? For example, today, my top three outcomes is to be able to onboard the new client that we're working with. The second thing is be able to record the videos. And the third thing is be able to work on the actual presentation that we're presenting to another client. Those are the top three outcomes that I have. Those are the only thing I'm gonna do. If I achieve those three, then I meet my outcome for the day, and it also ties to the long-term goals. I think that goes into my third point. What is your long-term one-year goal or outcome that you wanna have for 2018, or whatever year it is right now that you're watching this video? Then you wanna set and reverse and those those steps, that roadmap to get there, those milestones, and then be able to set actual resources and deadlines team responsibilities to each specific outcome that you want to achieve or the goals or milestones and then be able to set that in a very structured way. One of the biggest enemies I see to mental focus or productivity with business owners is that they do not have clearly defined strategies and goals in their business and then they don't and then they think that if they just have the dream, they don't have the yellow brick road or the roadmap to get there. They don't break down that roadmap into actual tasks. They don't have who is owning that specific task. They don't have the timeline of when they need to achieve that task. And then they'd be able to, achieve, what are the resources that you need to be able to achieve that task as well? There's so many different variables there, but I, I talk about a bunch of different things because those are all different ways that you can use real world to be able to have that mental productivity or the mental focus as a business owner or entrepreneur when you're bombarded with a bunch of different things every single day. So all I want you to do is uh, comment below. Let me know what one insight or value that you got from that, what I should share with you. At the same time, I want you to like this video. It shows me that you got value from this content. And then I want you to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon. It's probably the most important thing that you can do is subscribe to this YouTube channel. And make sure you hit on the bell icon. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.